Welcome back to Montejo Madness. This is Jack City. We got a title push. We are at game week 33. There's still only two games left until the playoffs. If we make them, we might get the title and get automatically promoted. Who knows? But let's see what happens. All right. We are here. Uh, we're taking on Atletico Madrid B team. And uh, whoo, here we go, baby. This is second v third, and we need a win if we're going to be uh, in contention with Atletico Paso. Is in first, I think. Yeah. So uh, Bernabe and Net Aqua on le on the left side because Madrigal is suspended for this game. Cardozo, Anibo, Martinez, Rodal, Kundul, Yedi in the midfield. Baragan. Uh, oh, sorry. You know what? I'm going to take Baragan off. That is my fault. Uh, I'm going to take uh, Ibriqueta. On the left side, he's a right footer, so we're gonna curl that in. Actually, I'll put him on offense. Um, Ibrikate, Pozo, and then Catala. On the bench, Tienza, Javicino, Machado, Baragan, Cristo, Rayo, and Canizo. Uh, again, Batonetto is very injured uh, for two to four months. Uh, somebody wants him, I don't care. Uh, and then Madrigal is suspended. So this is it. This is do or die. This is how it's got to be. This is how it's got to be. Um, let's do it for the fans. We get a chance for the title. I don't think we've ever won anything before. Um, oh my God. Uh, opposition. And they have so many good players. Diego Bree, I'm going to throw here Asane uh, tight marking and also hard tackling. Diego Bree, he's a left footer, so let's put him on his right foot. Um, let's also close down this guy. Carlos Martin. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know this guy at all. <clears throat> He's a right footer as well, so they're going to use classic wingers. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Javi Cueto's on the bench. Uh, he must be coming back from injury or something because Javi Cueto is their uh, their star striker. He usually scores eight goals. Um, yeah. All right. Let's go for it. We're playing a counterattack team or counterattack like, style for this game. I just want to get out of the gig and press for a little bit. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Montijo at home to Atletico Madrid B. This is second v third. They got a they got a, a you know a chance at the title. If they if this is a win, we have to some team has to win. If we draw, we're both getting playoffs. Aqua. Cutting back. Lays it off to Rodau. Hits it, blocked. Raihani. Yeah, good chase down. Who's that? Yeti? Wow. Like he's like 35 years old. He just chased down Raihani. Let's uh 15 minutes if I don't have anything else. Oh, okay. What do we got? Rodal. It gets in. Headed and it's over. Pozo with the header. Good chance there. I like that. I like to see it. Let's uh, encourage. They all enjoyed that. Good, good. We want to keep the positive vibes. I don't know why the uh, the sound on the crowd just went out. I don't know why that was. Hold on, hold on. Uh, let me just hop out. I don't know why the, the sound went out, but yeah. It's got to kick back on eventually, right? There we go. Pozo. Martinez. Set one out again. Oh, hit. Kandul. We're down. Nice ball over the top. It's Aqua. Oh, Ibriqueta. Oh! Cleared away. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 
but we're we're dominating them right now. We got eight shots uh, to nothing, so they're definitely uh, they're definitely struggling. It's uh, yeah, just keep it up. You're, you're you're doing good, guys. You're doing good. You don't need to freak out. You really don't. I don't know why it's gone. It's gone quiet. I don't know why, but that's fine. We just need a win. We just need a win. It's not a big win. It's just a win. It's not a big one. It's just a win. It's like anything else. We can do this. Back and forth. Corral. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, all right, Asane. Booms it forward. And Ebo heads it down. Kundul. Yeti. Katala lays it off. Is this offsides? Well, good save, but it is offsides, yeah. And we got it. happiness. We got happiness. That's good. I like that. Corral. Diego Bree just booms it forward, but uh, nobody's able to get to it. Bernabe. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for just scooping that up. Keeping it nice and calm and easy. Booming it forward. And Moreno wins it over Catala. Sergio Diaz. Martin. Yeah, there we go, Keita. There we go, Keita. Come on. Yep, Pozo. Kundul. Yet yeah, I. Yeah, ball. Keita. Oh, and he just missed it. Eber Keita almost got it. Almost. Demand more. Should we? Yeah, we should. We should. We should. Uh, I'm going to take him off. He's feeling a little nervous, and he's got a yellow. So I think it's about time we take him off. Uh, Baragan as well. We're going to take him off. He's right. He's left-footed. Okay. Uh, <laughs> see, I can never know. I never remember. Uh, winger on attack. Yep. Okay. And then I think that's all I'm going to make for now. Cristo and Baragan are going to be introduced. We're going to go Gagan Press. We're going to switch it up. Encourage the team. Cardoso's playing terribly as well. 6-2. Pozo, 6-4. Yeah, this is not like a sexy game by us. Uh, I'm going to put on Ryo. Because it seems like nothing's happening. We need something to happen. I totally forgot to throw this on. Oh, I hope we score. Oh, nice. Pozo. Oh. oh, he just didn't get it. Okay, it's perfect. Aqua. Nope, blocked again. Switch to attacking. Rodow gets it in. It's headed away. Martinez heads it in. Moreno clears it away. It's Anibo. Martinez. It's nil nil, but it's this is super offsides. He's super offsides. Mini hits it out to Diego Bree. Diego Bree back to Moreno. Costas boots it out and it's Bernabe to collect. No problem. Yeah, clears it out. And Moreno heads it down to Mini. Moreno. Martin. Yeah, offsides, thank you, thank you. They played like garbage, but we can't score. Yet I. Oh, terrible pass to Pozo. Clears it up. It's Javi Cueto there. And it's headed, thank you, Machado. 
Pozo, Yeti, all the way out to Baragan, but it's again cleared. Headed back in. Oh, it's there. Oh, <laughs> Ryo is too slow. Nil, nil. Nil, nil. Oh, man. Segoviana have muffed their chance to potentially be safe with a mix-up in the back. Adai was able to put it home 83 minutes into the game. And here we go. Serdinola at home to Union Ardarve. Harta Sanchez scores the only goal in the match uh, 82 minutes into the game for a nice, clean victory on the relegated side. Don Benito killed this game in style. They are able to beat uh, promotion rivals Cordia 3-0, and we were able to do it with ease. Campare opens it up 36 minutes in, and we enter the break 1-0 with Alberto Hill getting a goal a minute after the break. The fact of the matter is, Cordia, after this defeat, are completely out of the playoff picture now and will be in this division next year. Espinar... Finishes it emphatically from a corner at 90 minutes. Well, Guadalajara are officially relegated. They blew a 1-0 lead and they lost the game. Nancleres taking this lead 62 minutes. But Leganes B, the other relegation threatened side, dispatches a, <laughs> a really bad penalty right through the goalkeeper, Samuel, which didn't do any favors. And then only eight minutes later, Another header from Ismail to go in to win. Castellano at home to Estepona. And Castellano go right back to winning ways. Uh, they are able to recover from this chance. Frodo dispatches at 40 minutes. And we thought we were going to go in 1-0 at halftime with such a late goal in that first half. However, Samu Manchon scores a sucker punch only five minutes later. And we go level at halftime. Nesta Pona are reeling. And then you go into the second half, and then just the entire lid comes off. Uh, Casareño are able to put together a bundled cross that hits many bodies, and Segura puts it away at 50, 58 minutes. Garci at 74 minutes. Uh, with this opportunity, he's able to dribble in and uh, score an odd goal that goes in off the post after having gotten flicked by a defender. And then Teus scores in the 82nd to make it 4-1 to one and really make the entire thing go away. Diocasano are at home against Malia, who's now already well and safe. Uh, P2 was able to destroy them eight minutes in, and it started a really bad next 60 seconds for them. Malia was able to double their lead, and the side that's really uh, threatened with relegation is now up against it at halftime. Uh, down 2-0 with a really terrible start. However, they're able to have a little bit of hope 58 minutes in as, uh, you know, Buhan was able to physically, like, just relentlessly push his way through and be able to get that cross in for Guerrero to make it 2-1, but ultimately, I think Diego Sada beat themselves. Sao Kio Created an own goal, deflected off a cross, and it went by Cordero. And it's now 3-1. And it feels really kind of over, even though seven minutes later, Guerrero was able to capitalize on a really bad defensive and goalkeeping error. But to no avail. 3-2 loss for Diego Casano. Nava Carnero, four Vinovens, two. Los Vianos are now completely out of the playoff picture with mathematical no chance of getting in Igor Rocha was able to score 20 minutes, uh, it is notable that Carnaval Carnero was injured at 8 minutes into this game but then you had Barra Barra was, uh, is the center attacking midfielder for Nava Carnero and then just came alive uh, his first goal was a nice slick pass right through the middle from Lara but Lara was able to provide again for Barra and uh, he couldn't miss from there. He's basically six yards out, right in front of the goal. So take that as you will. Bad defense from Vianos. But this one, one of them with the keeper, hits the post, and it gets his own rebound. Quite lucky, if you ask me, but 
That completes the hat trick. It's 61 minutes, and now they're up 3-2-1. Uh, but this wouldn't be a novel Carnero game without Timeneshkov scoring. Bada turns provider to the Bulgarian. A consolation goal at the end, though, Benji, 85 minutes. Honestly, you know, it's something, but it's all over for them. No promotion. An intense game in the Canary Islands. Atletico Paso do win 2 0 over La Union. Eredan Santana with a nice flicked header right into the corner. If you've ever seen that goal from Raul Jimenez, you know what I'm talking about. The second goal comes through Kevin Bautista, the January signing. He's able to side foot into the net 63 minutes and then they hold on to the lead from there. This is the league table. After 33 games, we only got one game left in this season. Atletico Paso at top, 59 points, two points ahead of myself uh, at 57. Atletico Madrid B now 54 and Dominito at 54. They're officially done the title race. They're now ready for the promotion uh, playoff picture. Um, that being said, Casadeño 53, Estepona 51, Adarve 50. That rounds out the last of the playoff potential in this league. Amazingly, by the way, Lobos was able to maintain their uh, predicament up until the last day of the season, if I'm honest, which is, is quite impressive. That being said, Korea are out of the picture. 49 points, uh, four points from there, so they're done. Uh, and then Villanovens and Navalcanero and Melia, all basically grouped up about the same at 9th, 10th, and 11th. Sequeamos at 41 points. Um, yeah, they're going to sit in 12th. They've already locked in their position with nothing to play. Legan SB, huge, huge win, as you saw. Uh, Legan SB getting that win, and that means that they're now out of the relegation zone after having been in it for how long now? How long have they been in the relegation zone? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 weeks in a row. 13 weeks in a row. They're now out of the relegation zone after a huge, huge win over Guadalajara, and that relegated them. I told you it was going to be a do-or-die scenario, and one team was only going to be able to come out for the final day. Whew. There we go. Um, yes, yeah, Segoviana is still in it, though. Uh, they got one game left to play, one point behind. Dio Casano, two points behind with one game to play. We are really, really going to And of course, Guadalajara are down. I will say, too, is that uh, Paso and myself have now secured our promotion, our playoff spots so far, but that's not necessarily what we're really gunning for, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, playoffs are great, but, you know, and they're above my uh, expectation, but. The title is what I'm really looking for. I can't believe I'm title challenging right now either. But that being said, uh, you can see that, you know, we are headed into this. It's going to be an absolute, it's going to be mayhem. And everybody plays at the same time. Everybody plays at the same time. Let's go check this out. Let's see what we got. Atletico Madrid B, Don Benito. Yep, both on 54, right? Either team can get punched out of these, uh, punched out of these. Uh, let's just let's just gamify it. Let's see, like what could happen, might not, what might not. Both teams of these could get punched out. Even though Atletico Madrid B was was title challenging just a little bit a while a little while ago, they might not even make the playoffs. They might get bounced entirely if they lose to Don Benito, right? Casareño, who are they playing? Sequeamos, yeah, they win. And then let's say Estepona wins. They beat me. I lose out in the title. And then, you know, Atletico Madrid might even just get bounced out, right? That would suck, though. I would, <laughs> if, I, if I got beat by Estepona. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's totally possible. Uh, I was also looking, too, is, like, again, there's uh, it's results against teams. Adarve has, uh, actually, I don't think Adarve has a chance, now that I think about it, because Adarve has worse results against Casareño. I was just looking at this earlier. Uh, they got a draw here. And then they got a loss somewhere else. Um, here, yep. So Casadeño, so uh, actually Adarve are officially out. 
they're, they're officially out because if, even if they win, it doesn't matter. The points are going to be against them. Castellano is already at 53. They're the last spot, and uh, they have a better record against Adarve. So Adarve's out. Adarve's out. Um, Estepona, they have a worse record against Castellano, so they need to win and Castellano lose. That's the only way Estepona has taken me on. So that means I have to lose the title for them to make the playoffs. That's basically what that means. Um, who's, who's, wait, where's Atletico Paso, Cordia? Okay. Cordia is a difficult place to go play. So Paso's got to go there and win. Paso has to win or they can draw and I have to draw and lose. Um, you know, I have to hope they get a draw or a loss. That's basically it. Actually, no, I have to hope they lose because they have better they have a better uh um results against me, don't they? Cuz if they draw, they get three they're up 3 points on me and then if I win, we're level. So yeah, they beat me 3-0 right there and 1-1. Yep. Yep. So I have to hope they lose. They have to lose to Cordia and I have to win. That's the only way to the title. It's a lost win scenario right now. So that's it. Um, okay. Let's see, uh, who else? Okay. Let's go, let's go down here. Leganes, Segoviana, and Dio Cassano. Let's look at these guys down here. So Leganes at home to Alcorcón. That is probably the best case scenario for Leganes. At home against the worst team in the league. That's the, you win, you're in. That's, <laughs> that's as simple as it gets. Leganes, win, you're in. And, uh, let's see where Segoviana at home to Dio Cassano. <laughs> That's amazing. That's such a great, great, that's a great one right there. So that's, that's such a, that's such a wild scenario right there. That's such a wild scenario. But yeah, you know, I'm in a simple win-loss scenario. I need Paso to lose and I have to win. That's the only way through it uh, to, to, to get the title there. Um, Madrid, I mean, ultimately like, yeah, I mean, th- there's, it's between the four of these guys here to see. I'm, I'm emphatic about the playoffs. So this, this series is not done quite yet. Uh, we still have the playoffs. And I told you I would play the playoffs regardless if I'm in them or not. So even if we win the title and we're out of the playoffs, I will still show you all the highlights of the playoffs to see who gets promoted throughout of this. So, uh, And also I'll do a, like a wrap-up video at the very, very end just to kind of you know, show the show like the the arc of the season and how things went, and then also I'll show you like what's going on in the higher levels of Spain, particularly like Real Madrid, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, things like that. So just see what's going on above water, if you know what I mean. So we're going into the last game of the season, and we have a shot. It's not in our control, but we have a shot at the title. This is is exciting. I cannot believe I'm here again. Uh, also, we have the the least amount of losses. Which is which is nice, so um, we can take that with a grain of salt for sure. The draws as well, uh, we tied for the most draws Montillo has ever had in a season. That's something, and I think fifty nine points is uh, the most Montillo has ever got in a season. So if we get a win, we also break that record. So we drew we drew the drew uh, the drew the draw record, if you know what I mean. So, all right, next game. Let's get into it. We got three teams relegated. We got a two-horse race at the last day of the season. We have much. We have playoff positioning. We have title opportunity. We got three teams in the relegation uh, scrap. Here we go. Game week 34. Montijo Madness. Jack City Gaming. Thank you.